Thanks for watching News 5 at 5 on this final day of 2019. I'm Rob Quirk. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Watts. First at 5, the future of super fires in Colorado. Wildfires have been growing more intense and more destructive in the past decade. Now, former U.S. Interior Secretary and Colorado Senator Ken Salazar wrote an opinion piece this morning saying, this is the new normal. We have seen the deadly and devastating consequences of wildfires here in southern Colorado. And as we turn to a new decade, Bill Folsom here with a look at the changing pattern. Yeah, Salazar's opinion is old rules for forest management need some changes. We looked at the largest Colorado fires over the last decade. The acreage is just short of a million. Compared to the previous decade, there were more fires and larger fires, many of the worst right here in southern Colorado. A community on edge in 2012 as the Waldo Canyon fire burned at the border of Colorado Springs. You're going to really see a lot of smoke. You're going to see a lot of fire and you're going to see a lot of aviation resources out there. Uh, and so if you see that, just know that that's what we're expecting that we should see. Then the unpredictable element of fire blew flames into neighborhoods. Two people died, nearly 350 homes gone, more than 18,000 acres burned. A Colorado fire like never before. Only a year later, fire started on a windy day near the Royal Gorge Bridge. It blew through the park, causing millions of dollars of damage. Within hours of it starting, the Black Forest Fire started. Its aftermath is considered the most destructive fire in Colorado history. Two people died, 488 homes burned. The firefight and cleanup shut down the area for weeks. When uh, the roads do open, they're open for business. That same year, the West Fork Fire near Wolf Creek Pass grew over 110,000 acres. By area, the second largest fire in Colorado history. For mountain towns that depend on tourism, a loss during the fire and potentially for years ahead because of all the blackened terrain. People come here to see mountains and trees and everything Colorado has to offer. In 2016, 16,500 acres burned during the Hayden Pass fire, another 5,000 plus acres at the Beulah Hill fire. Then just miles up the road, the Junkins fire torched nearly 19,000 acres. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The spring fire on the west side of Huerfano County burned in 2018. It took over the number three spot of largest fires in Colorado. It topped 108,000 acres. 140 homes were lost, along with livelihoods, ranch land, also livestock. The speed of the fire spread and its behavior was very unusual. It's doing things that, that you don't see, like moving downhill. A wet year during 2019 slowed wildfires in Colorado. Still, the Decker fire approached 9,000 acres at the edge of Salida and forced evacuations. It will put people back in, in their homes when the fire is not a threat. So along with revisiting newsmaking fires, this timeline also shows a trend. Along with forest management, policy, drought and growth are also contributing factors. Elizabeth?